Thirty-six degrees right now in Hollister and Watsonville. We do have some reports of some frost. In fact, Rosalie in Ben Lomond said at thirty-four degrees, and definitely seeing that frost this morning. So we do have a frost advisory for our mountains and inland valleys uh, for those temperatures in the mid thirties, uh, mid twenties up at Lake Tahoe. Talking about that snow, so there are those cool temperatures that they are grateful for to keep that snow we received the last couple of days, uh, and then keeping temperatures in the afternoons only in the thirties and forties. Uh, for today and then getting even cooler this weekend with another system coming our way. This system could bring some rainfall locally. Very, very light. Nothing like what we saw earlier this week uh, and snowfall. Similarly, maybe just a little bit here or there, but nothing too impressive. However, the cold air is going to help with that snowpack uh, and then also for them developing more snow, artificial snow that is. And then naturally uh, we'll be staying cool. Now we do warm up a little bit by the middle of the week for Wednesday into Thursday. Then even colder air looks to come through next weekend. It looks dry, but maybe chilly. Uh, temperatures for today, lots of 60s, very similar to yesterday. Most importantly, we have snow, natural snow uh, that's going to be with us. Looks like for the next week or so because of those cold temperatures. So that's also going to help with making artificial snow uh, once some of this starts to melt off. But look at that going all the way down the Sierra Nevada uh, from Northern California, all the way down past Yosemite. And then also look at that in the Rockies uh, received multiple feet of snowfall as well. So take you look at that snow cover uh, in California. You can see zooming in some of those totals. Very impressive. This is what still remains after that storm system that brought rain or, and snow uh, earlier this week. So uh, three feet or so in many of those uh, resorts. And then you can see about 10 inches. So around a foot still uh, at some of those lower levels. So around 6,000 feet at Lake Tahoe uh, at lake level. So thankfully cold temperatures are going to help keep that snow around 44 right now at Lake Tahoe for this afternoon, staying in the 40s. And then as we go through this weekend, we actually have another front coming through. That's going to bring even cooler temperatures again to help keep that snow around. Paul. Heck yeah, what is thunder snow? Well, <laughs> as you can guess, it's when it's snowing, but you also get thunderstorms. It does happen in late fall, yeah. early spring when it's cold, but still uh, some lift out there. I guess it's a little self-explanatory. Yeah, but yeah, snow. you got to think about it. Unfortunately, I never heard thunder snow in Arkansas. It happened while I was there. I was asleep and I missed it. Ah. See, I can't sleep during any weather events. You were on vacation for all the rain that we had, and in Arkansas, you missed the thunder. Snow. I know. It's okay. Maybe I'll have an opportunity again uh, with our frost advisory that you can see we had earlier this morning in California. Uh, I've been seeing other meteorologists really recommending heavy coats, all the winter gear up in the northern tier with this cold system. So uh, in North Dakota, you can see under that snow, that orange, that was the blizzard warning that they had yesterday. It continued into Minnesota. Uh, now they're seeing that system week in just a bit, but actually going to interfere with Nicole. Uh, so this is what was a hurricane, now tropical depression, bringing that moisture up the eastern part of the U.S., up the mountains, bringing some flooding conditions there, tornadic activity in yellow uh, in parts of North Carolina earlier today and now making its way into Virginia. And then those two are going to collide, bringing some uh, snow up to parts of Pennsylvania and into upstate New York as well, also bring them the cooler air. Look at this, two degrees is what it feels like right now in Bismarck, North Dakota. They got all that snowfall, now the snow plaque, plus that cold air, making it feel chilly. Even feels like 39 in Portland, Oregon right now. Yeah, that's pretty cold. Actual temperature in the teens in some of those coldest areas, still in the 70s ahead of that system, but not for long. That cold air will move by. Uh, here's another look at Nicole. You can see that finally leaving the south alone and then quickly moving up the mountain. So that is the one good thing with that system is that it is rather quick. As as for us, 50s, upper 50s for Salinas right now, very similar to where you were yesterday at this time. Uh, so yesterday, Salinas actually got up to 64 degrees. I think we're going to see right around the same range for today. Uh, temperatures for today, right around where you were yesterday at this time, meaning mid, upper 50s. By the peak of the afternoon, that means some 60s. 61 for San Jose, 59 San Francisco. Uh, temperatures in the Santa Cruz Mountains expected to be in those upper 50s to 60s.
No, it's been colder than normal though. Yeah. I mean, near record breaking uh, temperatures in those mid 40s and because we don't we don't get that this time of year. I still pinch myself though, you know, that I'm so lucky to live here. I, I always think I'm dreaming. <laughs> I uh, agree, especially <laughs> when we're saying how cold 40s yeah. are. <laughs> yes, I know. All right, Gina, thank you so much. Really nice outside, yeah. uh, seeing lots of sunshine. We did. It's a Friday.